the Arlen Ness Big Sucker installed on a VTX 1300. Hello, today we're going to be installing an Arlen Ness Big Sucker on this VTX 1300. The reason I'm installing the Big Sucker on this bike today is as you can see there's a massive filter and the idea is more air in, more power out. So the first step of this install is going to be to remove the existing air filter, whether it be a stock filter or in this case an aftermarket filter. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this air filter and get down to the carburetor base plate and then we'll get going. So now that we've got the air filter removed, we're going to go ahead and begin by taking the backing plate. On the backing plate we're going to install these standoffs, three of them, and then we're going to screw the hose barbs into the backing plate. Okay, thread locker is really important to make sure that these pieces don't vibrate off. Now we've got the three standoffs in place, we're going to flip the unit over and we're going to install the nylon fittings. You want to be careful at this stage of the game that you don't tighten these too tight as they can break. Now I've got the three standoffs attached. I've got the two hose barbs inserted. I'm now going to bring the backing plate up, attach the two hoses to the back of the unit, flip it over, and install it to the carburetor using three Allen head bolts. Now that I've got the hoses successfully installed, I'm going to grab the three bolts that will attach the backing plate to the carburetor, put thread lock on them, and prepare them for the installation. Here I'm simply installing each of the three bolts, and then I'll grab an Allen wrench and lock them down. Okay, now that I've got these three bolts sufficiently tightened, I'm going to take this spacer, stick it behind the back of the plate, run this bolt through, and secure the bottom of this air kit to the stock mounting bracket. Now that we've got the back plate attached, we can clean it up a little bit and attach the filter element. A good wipe down before installation of the filter ensures there's no loose particles that will get caught in the carburetor. Okay, next step is to use these three screws to attach the filter. Now at this step you're going to want to make sure that the filter element itself is nested snugly against the back plate. And the final step of this installation is going to be to install the cover onto the filter. And there you have it, the Arlen S Big Sucker installed in roughly half hour, 45 minutes. Thank you for watching this installation of the Arlen S Big Sucker.